In this video, we're going to explore Fusion 360's drawing workspace and some of its basic functions. Before we get into sculpting, we want to create a drawing, or what I affectionately call a spec sheet, that we can use to send to the client. The spec sheet gives the client a way to clearly communicate to us, the manufacturer, what aspects they want to change in their design. Building a drawing inside of Fusion 360 is really simple. We've already got a design, so we're going to start from here. So to begin one, we're going to go up to File, choose New Drawing, from design. From here we're going to be greeted with a dialog box that says create drawing. For us we've only got one piece but if we had an assembly that had multiple pieces we can actually uncheck full assembly and then come over to our browser and select the pieces that we want to add to our drawing. In our case I'm just going to say full assembly. In destination I'm going to leave my standard to ISO and my units to millimeters and I'm going to change my sheet size. I'm going to go ahead and use this top one here and say OK. Fusion 360 is now going to take the data that we've given it and create a drawing. The first thing Fusion 360 is going to ask us is to place our base view. It prompts us already with our piece, so I'm going to come over here to the top left of my sheet and give it a click. From here I can begin to change the properties. If you see on the right hand side it says view properties, so this is where we're going to play with a few of these. Our orientation is already set to front, which is fine for what we've got here. Our visible edges for our style, that works as well. Now we can also change the scale, and if you don't see the size that you're looking for in our drop-down, you can always type in here as well. I'm going to go ahead and leave this at 2 to 1. We also have tangent faces, and let me go ahead and open this up so you guys can see this a little easier. So we have tangent edges turned to off, which is fine for us. We have interface edges, and I'm going to leave this as on. And our thread edges, I'm going to leave this as off as well. And with all these set up, I'm going to go ahead and just say OK. When we opened up Fusion 360's drawing workspace, it prompted us to place this, our base view. It actually activated this button up here, the base view button. This base view actually works in conjunction with our projected views. So projected view, I'll go ahead and give this a click. And it's going to prompt me to select a parent view. In this case, we'll use this one right here. And you'll see as I move around the base view, my projected view updates accordingly. So we can get isometric, top, isometric, or side. In our case, we're just going to go ahead and put a side one here to start with. And I'll move down here again, give it another click, and we'll do a top view. And then I can right click and say OK. With these two views in place, I want to add a perspective view as well. But I don't want to use a projected view, I want to use another base view. So we'll come back up here to base view. And now I'm going to change a few of the view properties as well. In this case, we want to say visible edges changed to shaded with visible edges. And I'm going to change my orientation to northeast isometric. The last little thing I want to change this is 3 to 1. I want this one to be a little bit bigger. Say OK. With these four aspects visible on our page, now we want to label them. So to do that, we're going to use some annotations. You can find annotations right up here at the top. In this case, we're going to use our text annotation. So give that a click, and I'm going to zoom in. I click once, and click a second place to open up the box. And for this front view, I want to make sure this is bold, underlined. I'll leave the font as it is. Come over here and type in front. And I can left mouse click to get out. Then I'm going to go ahead and right click and I can say repeat text if I go to the top. Then set up our text box, click once, click a second time. Select bold and underline and type in side. And to exit I can also hold down control and hit enter. Add one for the top. I can also right click, come down to annotation and then say text here on the left. And again, I can left mouse click once and twice. Make sure we've got bold and underline set up. And we're going to go ahead and put a last one over here, perspective. So right click, repeat text, start, finish for our box. Bold, underline as well. 
perspective. Now some of these are not in the exact place that I want them. So we can click on the text and these little gray boxes are basically are just move handles. So we can click and move this into place and we'll move our side into place, top and our perspective right about there. With these four annotations set up, let's take a view of the entire sheet by pressing the fit view right down here at the bottom. In this video, we covered how to create a drawing from an existing design, place a few views of our design on the drawing, and a few different ways to add annotations to label our views. With this basic information on our drawing, we're now able to move on to adding more detailed annotations.